how to choose a heating system for your A-frame home. First, A-frame home is a regular timber frame home, it's just a different shape. You can use all the heating systems and first let's understand what is a heating system. I've seen YouTube videos where people discuss what heating system is better, radiators or underfloor heating. It's just a part of the heating system. The whole heating system is made from two parts. One is generating the heat, like a boiler or a stove or a heat pump or something. And another part is distributing the heat the first part has made, like uh, underfloor heating or radiators. You have to think through both parts. And the first question to answer is, what is your lo house located at? What's, what are the climate conditions? Because requirements for a heating systems are really different in Florida and in Alaska. In Alaska, you need more, more power for your heating system. In Florida, probably would be good your heating system to have the cooling ability as well, like most modern heat pumps do. So, and the second thing you want to figure out is the fuel source. What is the most accessible fuel for your heating system? For example, I use wood stove because I own 25 acres of forest. My house is situated in the middle of this forest and the wood is just a natural choice for me. It's free. Yeah, and I like heating with a wood stove. The thing with the wood stoves is uh, if you have a cast iron stove like I do, they get hot very quickly. But they also cool down very quickly. So in the winter time, uh, to avoid house getting cold during the night, I have this uh, so-called hot wall built from bricks. So the hot smoke gases are going through the flues and heat up the whole wall and it's, it has a, if I well remember, five tons of mass, which accumulates heat and releases it over the night. So to choose your heating system, first think, what do you have available? And would you care more about cost or comfort? Let's say if you have two options, or firewood or the gas from the main grid, well, firewood may be cheaper, but the gas, again, is more comfortable. You don't have to think about it, you just pay your bills. And, uh, almost everywhere is available electricity. If you just use electric heaters, that's probably most costly option around there. But the heat pumps these days, they're pretty good, they're efficient. And if you are in a mild climate, they are probably your best option. Yeah, again, one uh, benefit of A-frame homes is that uh, because of the shape of the house, you don't have to get any distribution system on the upstairs. All the heat will go upstairs by itself. And if you have downstairs just one or two rooms, you can use these um, heat pumps with a split options to heat two rooms and the rest, the upstairs will, will get the heat just like that. Some heating systems also have hot water systems integrated. The air to water heat pumps, most boilers. One idea I want to talk about is tankless versus tank hot water. And I really do like tankless. Why? First, um, they last longer, usually. If you have a regular um, hot water boiler on electricity on something, you need to change it every seven, eight years. They do need more cleaning. And also, you are heating 200 liters of water or 50 gallons of water like 24 seven. And there are days where you use just maybe 
five gallons of it. You take a quick shower or wash your hand and just leave the house, but you keep heating it all the time and that is a waste of energy. Tankless, they heat the water only when you need it. Also, when you have a bunch of guests, for example, your tank of hot water may not be enough. Tankless produces you 500, 500 liters or 100 uh, gallons when you need it and 2 gallons when you need it. So it's much, much more efficient. I was uh, looking at the image uh, of the American Suburban in, uh, in the internet in the winter, in the evening, and I just imagined that I have the infrared vision and I see all these hot water boilers, like thousands of them. People are sleeping, they don't use hot water, but they are still heating, 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 thousands of them. <laughs> what a waste of energy. Don't leave the choice of the heating system as a last thing. Uh, I've seen many builds where the house is up and then they start to think what to heat it with. That's just plain wrong because pretty often you need to get some tubes, tubing or something into the floor. And when you have finished your floor, that's it. Also, you need to plan, if you go for a boiler, um, you need to plan a separate room for it. So do it in the planning phase. Some municipalities even do require that you submit the plans of the HVAC, uh, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, before getting your paperwork done. So do it on time. Take my advice about the fuel sources and do your research by yourself before turning to some company, because often companies, they just try to sell you their thing. They say that, no, 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 uh, well, our oil burners are the best, best available, forget about the gas, forget about the firewood, because they want to make a sale. Make up your mind first and then contact the appropriate company.